Oh, and Tasem of uh, Anime Asher thought, Welcome to Demon School, Iruma-kun, Season 2, Episode 4, Scene of the Student Council President. Well, it is official. The Innocent Omri arc is over, and the culprit is just a hardcore fanboy. Yeah, it seems this dude was tired of pulling commons and decided to go for the ultra-rare, ladylike version of Omri. Although the resolution of this arc is kind of anticlimactic, it's very serendipitous. I mean, the last act of the bold and the brash version of the student council president was the dismantling and the relegating of the members of the magical apparatus battler. It just so happens this dude's bad luck came in the way of Osmodius joining the new magic battler and Clara joining the, the game battler. Funny how that shit works out. I mean, we all knew it wasn't going to be what's his name. Thank you. Yeah, we all knew that Renove Rumiere was just a red herring, albeit one of the most badass red herrings ever, and I'm so glad we got a fucking encore of his music in today's episode, but a red herring nonetheless. But I have to admit, what this arc lacks in action and suspense, it makes up for by setting a good foundation for the future. I mean, coming off last season, we were hit with this giant cliffhanger of evil Aruma, aka Irumin. And if you paid attention, there there's some breadcrumbs throughout the last several episodes. I mean, not Yuki Tabata level foreshadowing, but it's there. Reintroducing the concept of the evil cycle, a time in which demons, their natural urges bubble to the top. While a human in the demonic world doesn't necessarily have demonic energy himself, I mean, he's constantly surrounded with them, and not to mention he actually utilized it in the form of the gluttonous fingering. I mean, couple that with the fact that what was just a Faustian piece of jewelry is now a walking, talking, sentient creature in Alured. The makings of Evil Iruma are written all over this introductory arc. Besides the introduction of Renove, I think the best thing that came from this arc is the very last bit of today's episode. By golly, we actually have a real life love confession, albeit it was to herself but my god, usually this takes forever. I mean, they get into that will they, won't they type shit, and honestly, that just tends to drag on. This is just a breath of fresh air. I mean, the writing was on the wall, and Alured is quick on the uptake. Given the fact that usually this type of spell would have worn off very quickly, it just happened to hit a snag in the shape of Iruma. Yes, this was a matter of the heart. Deep down inside, Amari yearned to be cuter, to be Lady like to be dainty because deep in her subconscious it seems that this maybe was what Iruma wanted but him actually confessing like whether it's the bold and independent vivacious version or this innocent prim and proper you are you and that's what I like about you I mean if it wasn't enough for us to see in the sea of students that she is solely fixated on this this image of Iruma bathed in a blue aura, her actually admitting, well, I guess I'm in love with them. I mean, that's just got to put a twinkle in your eye and a smile on your soul. But she's definitely going to have some stiff competition. And this time, I don't mean Clara. This is going to be more of an internal conflict. Omri struggling with herself to take that next giant leap forward. But this is a step, a step at least in the right direction. God, I am enjoying this series so much. And given the preview for next week, episode, we see some good shit. It seems we're focusing on our main trio of Iruma, Asmodeus, and Clara. An image of super serious Lord Sullivan, and Opera getting his groove on. I mean, it looks like it's gonna be a good episode. So with all that being said, and more Iruma-kun next week, I honestly cannot wait for future episodes. <laughs>